I'm Ryo Matsumura. I'm 28. Two years ago, I started my own chiropractic clinic near the station. I didn't get a single customer today. One night, I was working late. It was almost midnight. Ugh, I better go home. I gotta do something about my business. I might go out of business soon if things keep going this way. A few months ago, this big massage parlor opened up near the station, and small businesses like mine were struggling to make ends meet. I was losing customers by the day. Oh, looks like it was raining. What can I do to get more customers? Hold the elevator, please! Ah! I'm scared! I've seen this in a horror movie before! Is she gonna stab me? Uh, what floor? Eighth, please. Yikes, that's my floor! Finally, I got in. Thanks for unlocking the front door. I locked myself out, and I thought I was gonna freeze to death. Uh, sure, you live here? Huh? Uh, yeah, I live in 802. I'm Sakai Okamura. I forgot the key to the front door, and I tried calling the concierge, but he wasn't picking up. I was waiting for someone to come by. I was out there for like 30 minutes. Oh, I see. Sorry to hear that. I guess she's not a ghost, thank goodness. See? This is my room key. <laughs> ah! Huh? Uh, the, the, the concierge? He's not going to be back until next week. He's going away on business or something. What? Oh, no. We went to the first floor to look for her key, but it was nowhere to be found. It probably fell under the elevator, so there wasn't much we could do. What now? Oh, I can't do this anymore. I'm exhausted. What am I going to do? Ah! Come on, it's going to be all right. You should get changed before you catch a cold. Uh, come to my house and we'll think about your next move. I'll put on some coffee. Does anyone have a spare key? Thank you. Um, no. The spare key is inside my room. Sorry. That's okay. Come on in. Let's get you out of the cold. It's gonna be okay. Thank you. You okay? Ugh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My room looks exactly like yours. <laughs> I see. Why don't you call the real estate company that introduced you to this place? Uh, good idea. I'll try that. Business hours are 9 to 5. Please try again. Ugh. Oh. Well, if you want, you can crash here tonight. I know I'm a total stranger to you, but... Really? You'd do that for me? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I didn't think you'd actually say yes. I'm so clumsy. <laughs> I can see that. I'm always messing up at work, too. I'm trying my best, but... I just can't do anything right. Well, maybe you're just tired. Sometimes you just need to rest and relax, you know? When I get tired, I take a hot bath and stretch my neck and stuff. You don't look well, so I'm a bit worried about you. I see. I'll try that. Well, good night. Good night. The next morning, Okamura-san called the real estate company and managed to get her key back. Thank you so much for everything. Later that day, she came back to my room with a box of cake. Uh, you're home. Good. Yeah, it's my day off. Thanks for the cake. You shouldn't have. You want to come in for some coffee? So, you're a chiropractor? Yeah, but ever since that big massage parlor opened up, I've been losing customers left and right. I see. I had no idea. So, that's why you told me I should stretch more. Yeah. When your neck and shoulders get tense like that, it makes it really hard for you to relax, so... Sometimes you just have to loosen up and relax, you know? If you don't, it'll just make things worse. A few days later, she came by my clinic as a customer. I took your advice and took a long bath last night. You're right. I feel much better now. But I still feel tense around the shoulders, so I decided to swing by. Ah, thank you. Let's see here. Ah, you're still very tense. Uh, sorry, I fell asleep. Wow, my neck feels so light. You're amazing. How are you losing customers? Well, I still have my regular customers, but I'm having trouble getting new customers. And that big place is much cheaper, so there's not much I can do, you know? She started coming to my clinic twice a week after that. 
She was probably doing this to thank me for helping her, but I appreciated her business. Hello, is this Dr. Matsumura's office? Uh, yeah, that's me. Great. Are you available right now? For some reason, I started getting a lot of new customers. Hey, Mrs. Yoshimura. Mrs. Sasaki, what are you doing here? Hey, Saki. You've been doing really well lately, so I wanted to see this place for myself. Yeah, you look much better. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, Saki, hi. Hey, Mr. Matsuda. You started coming here as well? How did you guys find this place? Oh, we asked around. You are feeling much better these days, so we had to check it out. Most of these new customers, they were friends of Okamura-san. After seeing how well she was doing, they decided to come here themselves. Thank you, Okamura-san. I should do something to thank her for this. Saki, she can be a bit clumsy at times. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, she's like a granddaughter to me. I love her so much. Oh, I see. Up until then, I didn't know what she did for a living. She worked as a sales rep for this food delivery company. She delivered meals to the elderly in the city, and they all loved her. She's really nice, too. She always comes by the house to check up on me, even when she's off duty. Saki. She lost her parents when she was little. She grew up with her grandparents. Then, when she was in high school, her grandma got sick, and she had to take care of her for a while. That's why she went into this line of work. She wanted to help the elderly. Both her grandparents passed away years ago, but yeah. Oh, I see. That's why her spare key was in her room. She didn't have anyone to give them to. She's more than just a sales rep. She really cares about us. She calls us once a week to check up on us, you know? Yeah, she's the sweetest girl I know. I had no idea about any of this. She was loved by everyone. I wanted to get to know her better. Why are you all here? You're making it hard for me to make a reservation. But Dr. Matsumura is so handsome. He's so good at this. Uh, I found him first, okay? Thanks to you, I've been doing much better at work, and I no longer have migraines like I used to. Good to hear. You look great. I can tell you're feeling much better. I know, right? Maybe I should order meals from your company. Your customers say they're really good. I always eat stuff from the convenience store, so... What? No, don't do that! Why not? You got me all these new customers. It's the least I could do. You saved my business, literally. There must be something I can do to thank you. But I didn't even tell them about this place. I wasn't trying to get them to come here, you know. <laughs> Your customers, I can tell that they all love you very much. That's probably why they come here. No, they're here for you. I'm sure of it. Whenever they come here, they all wear makeup and stuff. It's pretty obvious. Oh, I see. I didn't know that. No wonder they're all so pretty. <gasps> Anyways, I still want to order meals from your company. I know it won't be much, but it's the least I can do. No, you don't have to do that. Huh? Why not? Huh? I mean, our meals are really good and healthy, but if you want, I... I'll cook for you. What? Let me cook for you. I... I want you all to myself. A few months later, we moved in together and she started cooking delicious meals for me every single day. A few months ago, I thought I was going out of business, but things are finally starting to look up for me. Anyways, glad everything worked out. The elderly these days. Most of them have smartphones and stuff, so that's probably how they found his place. Anyways, glad to hear everything worked out for them. See you tomorrow. Bye! Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.